uh, video was, well, made some improvements. Got to do a little protective blast chamber here. CD spindle. Negative and positive there. I've got to come up with a um, finer one leg aim resistor for this thing now. A safety one. Let's blow up this circuit board. Now I've got a VRX and zero. Power's on. Bring it up slowly. Right, it's on. Then if I got some charges, blow some stuff up. Yeah, not very exciting for this. Need something bigger. Yeah, it's welding itself. I'll blow some trace. There you go. That's how you blow up a circuit board. Blow the traces off it. Not bad. Got safety glasses on and earmuffs on. Safety first. Isolated from Earth because I'm not using an isolation transformer. So I don't want to trip the RCD. Sparky. Interesting. No magic smoke in there. Good. Let some charge accumulate. Just got them zip tied in there. Blow some traces up. <laughs> That's cool. No more traces. Unplug. Safety first. Discharge. Leave that shorted out. Doesn't work too bad, this little setup. I need a bit more punch though. Okay, let that unplugged. Unplugged rectifier, even though it's already unplugged, it can never be too bloody safe with uh, electricity, especially with capacitors and high voltage. Short that out. Oh, they've got quite hot too, these little clips. Right, let's get that out of the way. Short this little uh, bank out. 
Just leave them on there, even though, though it's been discharged, but you never know. Just leave that on there for safety. No molten hot glue, no bulging. They seem to have held up quite well. You can see there when I discharged in a previous video, three quarters of the copper was gone, so I had to re-enforce uh, that with some solder again. Now you do got to be bloody careful with this. This capacitor here, 470 mic, 300 volts. I, um, the original power supply that was in, it was uh, still had a bit of charging it, and while I was dismantling it, I got a hell of a shock from that thing. Boy, it's not, not a um, good feeling, that's for sure. So, leave it shorted out. Yeah, as you can see, redneck desoldering. Oh, look at that, and I wonder why it stopped working. I blew the bloody wire out of the um, jumper. Blew some diodes to hell. They're completely open circuit now, aren't they? Literally open circuit. <laughs> Um, TDA, whatever it is, that's a video um, amplifier, Philips component. Now it's got a hole in it. Disappointing those electrolytics didn't let out, let out the magic smoke. That thing there, that transistor's got a crack in it. Some more pop zeners and resistors. There's some vaporized metal there. So it does do an okay job. Some blown traces, surface mount device. As you can see, all that copper's gone, that's why it stopped working all of a sudden. So I need some beefier cables. There you go, and blew it to crap. Yeah, it needs a modern earth to cook circuit boards and you've got a capacitor bank. Much more interesting. Not sure what that is, that's a type of diode or something. Don't know, it's all vaporised inside now. SG. What's got? It's gone now. A little capacitor there, transistor blew the hell, blew the hell out of it. There's a, there you go. Let's see what uh, the numbers on it. There you go. Here I want to blow components to hell. Capacitor back is the way to go. Okay, viewers, that'll be enough for now, so thanks for watching.